Hello everybody, welcome to our boss fight video for Velstat, the Royal Aegis in Dark Souls 2. I'm Ryan Telgenik with GamesRadar.com. And I'm Lorenzo Valeria. <laughs> it looks like he had a, a little bit of difficulty getting into, into the fog gate. Yeah, there. fuck that little entryway. God, <laughs> it's so annoying. Um, I'll let you guys figure out why if you haven't seen it yet, but uh, anyways, the boss himself, also fairly annoying. <laughs> um, again, he's just kind of like another dude in armor, um, right. but He's, uh, you're fighting him in this kind of very thin cathedral. One of the things I recommend doing right when you get in here is baiting him into knocking out all these pillars so you have a little bit of extra room to move around. Cool. That's going to be pretty important in this fight. Um, obviously, <laughs> he's got his giant mace and I've got my giant stick and we're kind of just <laughs> hitting each other to death with both of those. Uh, <laughs> his, his attacks are strong, as you might guess, right. um, just by his equipment loadout. Uh, they're gonna chunk you pretty hard if he smashes you in the face with that giant thing. Um, and, and they've got pretty good range on them too, uh, just because his sweeping attacks are, you know, pretty. He he reaches out there pretty good. Now, uh, is this a guy that you <coughs> want to try to circle strafe or maybe stay in front a little bit? What was your strategy? Oh boy. So the thing about circle strafing him is that. He's really quick at turning with you, mm -hmm. and because most of his attacks are like giant circular sweeps, it can be really tough to stay behind him well enough. Um, I would say what you're gonna want to get really good at practicing here are the perfect roll dodges. Mm -hmm. um, his straightforward smashes into the floor aren't so bad to dodge. This like this right here, oh. although I just got smoked by it. Um, another danger of circle strafing him is that kick you saw will drain almost all of your endurance or all of your stamina in <laughs> if you're trying to block it. So it's he's a really tough one to circle strafe. I'd say what you want to do is again um, just do just back up when he's doing those attacks, go in, hit him, back up when he's doing the next one, go mm -hmm. in, hit him. Um, or alternatively roll into him when he's doing his uh, forward smashes or his sweeping strikes. Um, cause that way you're at least going to be close enough to put damage on him. Do be careful though. I would not recommend getting more than an attack, maybe two in because he follows up into his next one pretty quick. Right. Yeah. It looks like you can only get one swing with your giant club at yeah. before he's already winding up for the next one. So. Yeah. If I had been using like, you know, just a one handed sword or something like that, I could probably put a little more, maybe get two attacks in at any time. Um, but yeah, uh, the first half of the fight, you've basically seen everything he has. But once you get him to about the halfway point, he does this. Now what he's doing is he is imbuing his uh, attacks with dark attribute. So now he's going to also inflict magic damage uh, with each of his strikes in addition to the physical damage. Uh, of course. This is Dark Souls <laughs> after all. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, he wasn't... I didn't really feel like... Uh, I was taking a ton of extra damage from these attacks, but you're going to notice it a bit. Right. Um, you know, and one strike before had been hitting me for maybe a third of my health, and now they hit me for about half. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess that is actually a pretty good increase. So when he, he was uh, summoning that, uh, you kind of just avoided him. Does he do any damage to you if you attack So him? that's the thing. I wasn't sure. I was playing it safe. Mm -hmm. I don't... I know he does have increased damage reduction from now on. Right. And also when he's doing the summon itself. Uh... I was nervous that when that circle showed up around him, maybe he would have some AOE attack, right. which is why I wasn't going in. I, I haven't, uh, I haven't really confirmed that. I, it may not be the case, uh, but I was just playing it safe just right. to be sure. Um, his move set doesn't really change much. One thing that he will do, and he'll probably do it any time here, um, is yeah, right here. He'll start kind of waving that thing around, <laughs> and he's going to shoot out some magic, uh, like dark orbs. That is such an easy attack to dodge. And while he's doing that wind-up time, feel free to run up, start smacking him a bit. And even while he's casting it, like he will turn immediately to your location. So just keep running around him even when he's shaking that thing, mm -hmm. shaking his mace around. Uh, and feel free to put some damage on him then. Again, again it's just like at this point in the... Uh, at, at this point in the encounter, it's the same movesets plus his casting. Um, but also just his attacks in general do more damage. He's, uh, not, <laughs> he's a frustrating boss in that he, you learn his abilities very quickly. Yeah. But 
one mistake is all it takes and you're done. It's a battle of endurance here, this, <laughs> this one. So yeah, there's that, there's that casting again. Looks like he had plenty of time to, to throw in a strong attack. Mm -hmm. um, it was also, you know, one thing that probably would have made this fight a little easier if I had been using, and I kept forgetting to do this at, at all, but if I'd been using like any of the resins or things that imbue your uh, weapons with magic attacks or anything of that right. sort, probably would have made the fight go a little bit quicker. Um, but yeah, my normal attacks prior to him, you know, using this darkness stuff was more closer to like 400, a little over 400. And as you can see, I'm like in the 200s now. So he's got not quite half damage reduction, but I'd say you're going to be doing at least a third less. Yeah, and uh, pro tip for all these uh, boss encounters, if they're uh, not taking as much damage as the average boss, go ahead and uh, put some magic on your weapon and uh, that, that'll help give you some extra damage against all yeah. that armor. It's tough to it's tough too because then you have to like judge like oh god do I have time to apply this before he beats me up because if you do it right before the gate like it's gonna run out by the time he even gets to this point so it is a really tricky thing but uh, yeah I mean as long as you just kind of keep up be very patient like the pursuer you definitely just want to be very careful take your time don't rush <laughs> because that got me killed a few times on this boss when I was very very close yeah um, but as long as you're being very wary of his of his abilities, you know, taking advantage of the opportunities you have to hurt him like this, uh, he'll go down like any other. And that'll do it for our boss guide of Vestalt, the Royal Aegis. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Dark Souls 2 boss guides and check us out at gamesradar.com.